Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Yo, first off, before I start this video, I wanna say thank you for my supporters, my subscribers that come on here, man, and leave me comments, because they motivate me. You guys motivate me to continue making content of this nature. Um, it might not fit, it might not be for everybody, man, but for the people that I do try to help or that do get some kind of educational thing or educational information from me, and you use it and you like it, you know, this is all for you guys, you know, so thank you for watching, thank you for supporting. And, um, you know, just thank you, man. I just keep doing content as much as I can. Uh, so today I want to give you uh, three individuals, if you fit in these categories, that you should be a travel tech. Because it's not for everybody, you know. So the first one I will say is if you're young. You got to take advantage of the youth, man. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're young, just, just think about it, right? If you're young, you're a new tech, say you're a tech for a year. And you're like, you know what? 25, 24, you know, yeah, I might have a girlfriend, but I'm not married, I don't have kids. I wanna travel. Guys, you travel the country basically for free. You know, you go to anywhere, anywhere in the country. I don't know about um, out the country, like overseas or anything, I'm not sure about that. But do you go to California, never been there for free. You go to New York, Las Vegas, North Dakota, <laughs> anywhere you wanna go, man on the budget of, you know, the traveling company and the hospital. So if you're a young man, definitely, definitely, definitely take advantage of that. And not only that, man, sometimes it's like, you're young and you wanna be better and you wanna like, um, you wanna become a better tech. Travel is probably the best one because you get to, to see different um, hospital settings, uh, different departments, how they flow, how they work. And maybe one day yourself, you want to be like, you know what? I want to be a director. I want to be a manager. I have all these ideas from all the traveling I've been doing. I'm going to put that to use, you know? And I say as a young tech man, if you're willing and you want to, um, go travel, man. You know, you're young. Um, and I'm not trying to discriminate older people from, from traveling, you know? But, you know, once you get a little older as myself, you know, I'm going to be 40 by the grace of God in November. That's the last thing you want to do is travel, man, because it does come with a lot. You know, when you're older, you have not even when you're younger, but you every every 12 weeks, whenever your assignment is over, unless you're going to renew that travel assignment at the same spot. There's a lot, a lot of paperwork that comes with it. A lot of paperwork that you have to send. Um, you have to sit there and pack. You have to sit there and go find another apartment or Airbnb, wherever you're going to stay at. And that can kind of be frustrating, you know, um, and the technologies out there, man, a lot of, um, I mean, there's younger people, I'm sure, but a lot of people aren't good with um, with technology and, you know, changing and, you know, uh, what is that word I'm looking for? Kind of like, um, uh, what is that word? Uh, anyway, they're not good with, you know how new technology comes out and not, they're not always good with change and stuff, you know, if they, you know, some people aren't good with that, you know, but if you're a young tech man, you just have to get used to it, and there's nothing better than the travel. Like I said, it's you travel the world, not the world, but you travel the country for free, 100%. Um, so two is if you if you're that kind of person that you get bored fast, you know, and you know you're like, if you've been at the hospital and you're like, you know what, I think I want to change hospitals. I want to, and instead of you sitting there and changing jobs and jobs and jobs and burning bridges, and be like, oh, he's not going to last year. Just be a travel tech, man. Be a travel tech, and every 12 weeks, you have a different assignment. Every 12 weeks, you're different, even if you're in the same state. You know, even if you're in the same town. Say you travel, right, and there's hospitals always competing with each other. You know, you can always work for this hospital for six weeks or 12 weeks, and then be like, oh, you know, the hospital across the street is a different company, and they need a travel tech. I'm going to just sit here and just go travel over here. Oh, they need a travel tech back over here. I like that over here. I'm going to go back over here. There's so many options, you know, so many options, so many openings at the moment. Um, so if, you, if, if you're if you that kind of person, be like, you know what? I need to change at least every six weeks, every 12 weeks. Traveling will be perfect for you. You know, I can't do that, man. I have kids. I'm married. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't travel. And I'm not saying you can't travel if you have kids. But 99% of the time, you know, um, if you do travel and you have a family, the kind of stipend you get for the food and, and the rent and all that kind of like really doesn't, um, you won't, in the end of the day, you won't make as much, you know, from my opinion, you know, because, you know, it's expensive to take your family and stuff. You might, and another thing about traveling is that the insurance 
isn't as great as if you work for a hospital. If you have a family, if you're single, it's perfect. But if you have a family, it's not going to cover everything that you would that a, a traditional hospital covers. You know, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, and uh, the third, the third thing is that um, the cool thing about traveling is that if you're not that type of person that wants to stay on one shift, so when you work in a traditional hospital, right? Like, oh, we hired you day shift, eight to five or eight, seven to three thirty or whatever, Monday through Friday, that's your shift. So you end up getting on that shift and you're like, you know what, man? I don't think I like this shift. I want to go to the evening shift, work three to 11. Well, your contract or whatever you signed is seven to three thirty, So you're stuck on that until they hire somebody to take your shift, you know, instead of like being like, you know what? I'm gonna travel. I signed up for this assignment, 7 to 3.30. I don't like it. In, in six weeks or 12 weeks, I'll be done. I'll just pick a different shift. I'm gonna try 3 to 11. Maybe that will, that will work better for me. You know, or maybe like, you know what? 3 to 11 isn't a shift I want. I'm gonna try overnights. You know, try overnights. You got 12 weeks. What do you, I mean, nobody likes working overnight. <laughs> At least I don't. There's a lot, you know, and there's actually people that do like to work overnight. You know, I don't like it because I feel like it, messes up all your algorithms, you know, your sleeping patterns, your eating patterns, your workout patterns, everything's off, you know, your life, family, kids, all that is off when you work overnight. And that's my opinion. But there's a lot of people that like overnight. And then you're like, you know what, I tried overnight, you know what, I don't like overnight, man, I've been doing it for 12 weeks, it's not for me, it's messing everything up. I'm gonna just go to weekends. There's a lot of positions out there for traveling for just weekends to 16 hour shifts. I think it's usually like 6am to 11 11 p.m., something like that. Saturday and Sunday, you're off Monday through Friday. There's travel, there's travel jobs for that because a lot of people don't want to work weekends, especially all day, you know? So that's something to think about, man. That's something to wrap your head about of what, you know, if you think about traveling, what you could do. Um, so yeah, man, I think those are the best, the best uh, groups to do. So if you're young and you want to advance your career to the next level in a few years, the amount of knowledge you pick up becoming a travel tech, you will never ever learn just sitting in one hospital stationary. Two, if you wanna travel the country for free, that's it, you wanna travel the country for free, become a travel tech. You go to all the best cities, and you, the cool thing about it is you can pick where you wanna go. If they're like, hey man, we got assignments in, I don't know, I'm just throw a, a, a state out there, I don't know, Montana. Like we have a, a, a um a assignment in Montana, you're like, oh, go to Montana. Nothing against the state. I'm just saying, just throwing options. Or you can go to New York, or you can go to North Carolina. And you have your options, man. You can go wherever you want. And that's the cool thing about it. Um, And the third, man, like I said, you want to change shifts. And not just shifts, just so many things. Like, if you don't like a co-worker for like, you know, you, you can't change co-workers at a stationary hospital. You're there until they're there. They decide to leave. When you're, whenever you're, whenever you're a traveler, and you don't like somebody, you're like you know what? It's all good. I'll be out in ten weeks. No big deal. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's so many perks that come with it. To be honest, but I hope this helps some some of you guys out there that are thinking of being travelers. And um, you know, hopefully it helps. As always, guys, thank you for watching. To the next one.